Oh, We're you? really excited to be here in Paris this week. Uh, if you just want to walk with me across the River Seine, we are meeting some amazing French bands here. We just can't wait to get started, so see you soon. Joined by Steve. Do you want to introduce yourself, Steve? Hi, I'm Steve. I perform and release music as The Warden, and I'm a songwriter from Barry in South Wales. Hi, it's The Warden, and this is my song, Faces. Stared from the crow's nest, there was a break in your smile. So how far how removed long have you been playing music? Must the face be? Basically, ooh, about 30 years now since I was four. <laughs> that was when I first, yeah, played on the family piano and had piano lessons. My dad played piano, both of my older sisters played piano. There was always I guess there was never any sense that you shouldn't touch instruments. It's just like it was there, start playing it, and we had lessons very young. I count all the time. I count all the time. There is no calculation. So you release music as a warden, you perform as the warden. How long is, have you been the warden? <laughs> Um, officially it's about two years, okay. um, but in that time I've done, so I completed a Masters in Songwriting and Production mm -hmm. throughout most of the pandemic. So now I'm at that weird point where I know what I'm doing, like I know what the vision is, but I haven't finished recording the tracks. Okay. So it's, it's a bit of a weird time where you can't perform live, but I'm basically finishing off collaborations and projects and getting ready to launch stuff, but being very quiet otherwise. Yeah, okay. <laughs> For the depths in your eyes. I see a twitch beneath your cheekbone oh, Do not know if this is why Changes in our bones, in our souls In the echoes of our lives I see all the storms I count all the tides Can you tell me, tell me, is this why? How would you kind of describe your musical style? It's a bit of a tough question, but for someone who's never heard your stuff, how would you describe it? Yeah, um, I suppose genre-wise, the easiest one is for fans of like The National, Manic Street Preachers, okay. um, Loud and Wainwright in terms of the storytelling, the lyricism. So for me, it kind of adds up to, there's a folk spirit at the heart of it because I'm always telling stories with the lyrics, but the sound is very contemporary. So it's not just acoustic and violins and kind of traditional folk instruments. Yeah. It's a more contemporary sound with electric guitars, program drums, synthesizers, whatever the song needs really. So I, I guess contemporary folk. Records, but who will read them in time? Trace a line across your forehead Will they know it was mine? I enjoy teaching people Changes that songwriting isn't just for musicians mm -hmm. or it doesn't just have to be done in the traditional way um, and yeah I'm kind of tired of the trope of songwriters talking about how their songs just come to them out of the ether and it's a very commonly stated thing but really when you write a song in five minutes, which happens with most songwriters, it's because you spend a lot of time thinking about songs and playing music. So it's kind of inevitable that eventually you'll just write a song really quickly. Yeah. And it can make people feel like it's, songwriting is this magical thing. Mm -hmm. But I think if you have the right methods and you help people realize that, essentially it comes down to, you know, you're picking a word, you're picking a note, you're picking a chord. So anybody can do that if you help them. Um, so yeah, I. Aside from any aims, like with my music, I'd just like to reach out to more people and help more people write, basically. Okay. Changes in our bones, in our souls, in the echoes of our lives. I see all the storms. 
I count all the ties But can you tell me Tell me is this wise What is your like dream festival that you could play at? I would actually I'd love to play at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Okay. Um, when I've been there supporting um, a friend whose musical was on there, it was just such a vibrant atmosphere. There's so many different forms of really innovative, experimental art happening all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, so Christina and I are currently planning a, a tour where she'll be reading her poems, I'll be playing songs that were inspired by the poems, and afterwards we'll talk about how the songs came to exist. So I, I'm more interested in those type of things. As gigs are returning, I'm not. I know my stuff doesn't work well as a like um, as like an opening act. Okay. It's not really the type of stuff where like if you're in the ready, for, if you're in the mood to get drunk and like have a great time to yeah. some, you know, heavy music, which is fine. Um, my stuff doesn't work in that setting, but I think somewhere like the Fringe, where people are there to be curious and to kind of do a deep dive into what's happening, yeah. that would be where I think I would fit in. Hello, welcome to round four of Glove Songs. We're here with Steve the Warden. Right, Steve, I want you to pick your hand, put, pick out a CD from this bag. Yep. Don't look at it, pass it to me, and name as many tracks off that album as you possibly can. Okay, okay off you go. I hope the album is old. Okay, the album's kind of old, 1989. Oh no. It's The Stone Roses, The Stone Roses. Oh my god. <laughs> that does not bode well, I've that reaction. I've never listened to The Stone Roses. You've never listened to The Stone Roses. Isn't this oh a my weird god. thing? Um, wow. Right, I'm going to give you 30 <laughs> seconds. And that time is going to start now. I've even seen, I've seen Ian Brown live. Have you? I saw him support the Manic Street Preachers. The first time I saw a crowd turn away from a singer. Oh, wow. Because they disliked him so much. Steve, this is cutting into your time. Yeah, I'm just stalling. I'm trying to see if I can remember. I am the Resurrection. Or I am the Resurrection. Yeah? on there. Yeah. Keep going, Steve. <laughs> Honestly, we need someone to get some points in this game. That's You've one. got seven seconds left. Wow. Five, to show that I'm ignorant or they're overrated, four, I don't know. Three, two, one. They're one of my favourite bands again. Of course they are, because I own all the CDs. <laughs> I've seen the Stone Roses live, and they're fantastic. You've got Iron the Resurrection, probably the most famous one on there, to be fair. What I want to be a adored. She Bangs the Drums, Waterfall is pretty famous. She Don't Bangs stop. the Drums, I know the name. Yeah, of. She Bangs the Drums is a great song. Um, song for my sugar spun sister, Made of Stone, Shoot You Down. This is the one as well, it's a big tune. Okay. Um, now I need to listen to that. Yeah, that's to be honest, like, that's actually you know, a really good record, so I think you would enjoy yeah. it. I mean, he got one point, and that is unfortunately very good for this game. <laughs> <laughs> so, well done, Steve. And now if you want to hop in the car, we'll hear some of your songs. <laughs> nice one.